In your Northbox Mini Kit, you will find four acrylic panels, a power cable with an integrated switch, a strain relief, a five fan hub, some cable ties, a 12 volt cigarette lighter car adapter, and a 12 volt power supply in the little box. You will need to purchase four 80 millimeter computer fans. We recommend the Arctic P8 Max. You will also need to buy two IKEA Starkvind filters. Notice that the fans have a fancy label on one side and a plain label on the other. Look on the side of the fan and you'll see some arrows indicating the airflow. The flow of air must be out from the box, not into the box. So with that in mind, the fancy label faces the inside of the box. Now you simply place each fan on top of the panel that has the grills and press them into place. Be sure not to put any pressure on the fan itself. Just use the palm of your hand to press into the corners. Now take the bottom panel and attach the side panels. Start with the side panel that has the hole. Make sure the hole is at the bottom and just press it into the friction fit corners. There is some tape on the corners to ensure a nice snug fit. Make sure that the weather stripping faces the inside of the box. Take the power cable and attach the strain relief. Make sure the thick part of the strain relief faces the switch. Just put the cable inside and then press it together. Then insert one cable at a time through the hole and press fit the strain relief. Now take the fan hub. There's room for five fans, but you will only need four. The connectors can only go in one way. Just take note of the little raised tab. Now peel off the backing paper, exposing the adhesive. And just press it down to the bottom of the system. Now attach to the DC cable. Before you go on, Plug it in, turn it on, make sure you're getting airflow through all four fans. Now use the cable ties to secure all the cables together so they don't fall into the fans. You'll notice the DC cable has a spare output. Simply connect that to the one that you're using. It's there in case you want to experiment with fan stacking.
Now just trim the ends of the cable ties, making it nice and neat. Now it's time to add the filters. You'll see that the filters have a little tab that should face out and onto the top of the unit. You'll also notice that each filter has a little bit of weather stripping. That should be on the outside so that the built-in weather stripping makes contact with the white part of the filter. This double stripping ensures a nice tight fit. If you find it hard to put the filter in, you can spread the panels apart and then just press them back together when you're done. Once you've got both of them in, just turn it on and you've got a working machine.